Sherry here, Surfer Girl 326. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, and thank you so much. Uh, if you're a subscriber, um, for all your love and support. Um, so, uh, this is just a little recap. Uh, I did a video last year. Um, as most of you know, um, uh, Operation Christmas Child from Samaritan's Purse is very near and dear to my heart. Uh, I've been doing it ever since it started almost 20 years ago. Um, James, James and I, um, you know, of course, don't have kids, so uh, I just always um, have tried to do it every year. Um, some years, you know, of course, the last couple of years, I um, have not been able to do it. I did do it the last time, about maybe two years ago before the pandemic. Um, and I, I just, um, a couple times, I've been very blessed because if you let people know what you're doing, um, they generally will help you if you your co-workers or anybody in your family uh, if you let them know um, and I have been very blessed uh, um, one year I did almost 200 boxes I think it was about 150 or so and I've done 50 at one point uh, so every year um, I, I have like a little goal I'll sh you know shoot for 10 and then you know, and I was going to try to do 25, but I have already packed 20 boxes. And I just want to kind of give you a little um, suggestions. You know, um, I now, I did not just go out and buy all this stuff. Um, I, this is a passion of mine, and um, I'm very fortunate now. Look at Walmart. Um, last year, when um, I saw different things on clearance, you know, well, I do all year long. After, after back to school, um, whenever um, shoes are on sale, um, I just would buy it up. So I think I had about uh, 15 or 16 pairs of shoes, and then I just kind of went from there. And I'm just going to show you what different things that I was able to get. And then that's how I build my box, you know, through like the gender, the age, um, whatever I have. So I'm going to kind of show you like each... Uh, so how it works you know you can do boy or girl and they have uh three different categories of ages sorry i'm i'm at a really weird angle but all the boxes are out in front of me on this table and um so we have um five to so we have two to four five to nine ten to fourteen that's the age range um that you try to uh put stuff in for your the box you know for those ages um, and this is something um, that uh, sometimes Samaritan Purse will send pe people you know to, uh, see if you want to do it and um, I I've had this so I thought I would show you but um, I have something coming that's going to make it a lot easier for me so um, and you can um, go online and order different supplies from Operation Christmas Child um, through Samaritan's Purse um, what's really cool is now that you have a QR code and this QR code makes everything so much easier now. Um, and the QR code, um, you can activate it and send out, so you can send up to 50 boxes um, with just this code. And I have a roll coming to me, so it's based, so it's, it's going to be a sticker. Because usually in the past, I've had to go to Office Depot or somewhere and copy this one little label and then actually tape it onto every box but with these stickers it's going to make it so much easier they are sending me that free of charge um so I, i'm excited about that so um I'm, I'm just and i'm also going to just show you a couple other things um as i've said before i used to be a volunteer a long time ago so that's how i got this copolo i've got a couple different shirts um and when you're a volunteer you get different perks you get different um tools um because I was um, actually a community volunteer, and I also went to, I forgot what the, the church one was called, but because um, my, the town, there wasn't, we didn't, there wasn't very many uh, Operation Christmas Child volunteers, um, media, I think maybe there was, so um, I would go to Chick-fil-A, um, and we'd set tables up, and I also went to Lifeway, and I had connections there at Lifeway, Chick-fil-A, uh, and then, uh, and also my church, um, you know, so, um, so some Operation Christmas Child would send you things 
to share them. And, um, and sometimes I would have a couple things left over. And there was also things as a volunteer that you could order um, if you wanted to do it. But um, I tell you, the best perk that I did get, though, um, and if you don't know what Lifeway, Lifeway was a Christian bookstore. We had it here, and it's gone. It was near our mall. Um, and my friend Brian and them, um, Brian was the manager, and every year they always hooked me up. What they would do was um, they would save all the vacation Bible school stuff, and whenever they, you know, didn't need it no more, uh, couldn't use it, they would pretty much probably write it off. They would save it, and they were like, we got boxes for you. You ready? You know, come in, and I would load my truck up, and um, they're like, well, you know, whoever, um, you can give this to churches, you know, if you need it. And, um, uh, and those things came in handy so much. I mean, um, so little things I got was like, um, so like, you know, they came in, uh, packages. It was, pa you know, like paper, um, and these papers, you know, would come like in a packet. It was already wrapped, uh, and stuff that they, you know, send, used for vacation Bible school. Uh, table covers, uh, I think... And the little boys, um, I think there was like little airplanes. Um, and I mean, over the years, I mean, I'm just about finally about used all my paper up. But I mean, just anything that I could use to send to a child, uh, it's, it's just, it has really helped a lot. And one of the, um, yeah, but, the, um, but, um, it, so that was just a really great perk. Um, you know, because, you know, they want, you know, they were able to write it off. Um, I was able to give it, you know, you know, of course, because I, I always shared. And one of the, oh, I did, I, so this was really cool. So one of the other things um, that they had uh, one year uh, for a vacation Bible school, and I think I have the paper, here's the roller coaster. Was this the Colossal? Yeah, so it was because every year, you know, vacation Bible school, uh, they always have different, um, different themes. And this one was called Colossal Roller Coaster. Isn't that cool? And, uh, that year they had these little awesome bags and this is like a little drawstring bag. And so what I, um, and I, gosh, and I have, must have had, had at least about 50 of these every year, last two, the last four or five years that I've been done boxes. So what I'll do, so what I've done, you know, I'll send this and I'll give them markers that they can color their backpack. And this was, this is my very last one that I have. Um, and, um, you know, so, so next year I'm going to have to start, you know, uh, re replenishing all my, you know, um, shoebox stuff. Um, but yeah, that was one, that was one of the, um, Cool things that I've gotten and, and and I've gotten several um, bags but um using um you know you know resources like that really helped um, and then uh, Samaritan's Purse um, actually they made this bookmark up and it was another one of the little tools that they would give for you to share with churches organizations that you know like when we would would go to Chick-fil-A and set a table up and you know because people what we would do is like a week or two before uh, um, collection week, we, they would actually, they would tell the public, come bring your shoe boxes here and um, to Chick-fil-A or wherever we were at. And then we would have to, at that end of the night, bring them to the church that actually collects them. Um, but this was an awesome bookmark. And um, after I finally ran out of all mine, I decided I, co I copied it. And um, I just, I, um, I put, I've been putting it in all my shoe boxes. Um, cause you can, I mean, you can be creative, you know, it's just, um, there's several things, you know, war related things. You can't put, ca you know, food, candy, and you can't send toothpaste anymore. Um, but I always, I always try to do like, um, a hygiene item, you know, aim as much as hygiene items as you can. One big thing, you know, and, and I just go from there. So I'm just... I don't know where to start. Um, so I got a couple older girls here. Okay, so for example, like last year, I said, so I, several of my older girls are going to get a pair of shoes. And this one, this pair of flip-flops. Um, this one, uh, this young lady is going to get a pair of shoes like these. 
um, and then I'll just kind of show you. Oh, and then I, and I still have toothbrushes. My I have a sweet friend Colleen who is a dental hygienist. For the last ten years, I think it was about eight, six or eight years ago. Um, she has given me toothbrush and toothpaste every year. She gives me toothbrushes, but since since what's everything's going on, their office um, has not been able to donate. But she did she did come through. She gave me like almost twenty. And it really helped me, um, my two boxes, because I did have enough, but I, I love to give too. Whenever, um, I just, I always try to go beyond because when a child gets this box, nine times out of ten, you're going to have siblings that aren't going to get a box. No, because maybe they're young or too old, or there's just too many family to be able to go to the, the facility in their country where they're, walking however many miles they are walking to to get their shoe box um so i always try to pack two toothbrushes um if i can and this um and like so here's a comb um oh and i was able to get i just got these a couple days ago i was able to get this headband for a dollar uh, i've had socks um i always try to when i get socks for a really cheap price um and this one is going to have a little writing set, pen, um, uh, yeah, a pen, a pencil, um, a mechanical pencil, a pen, and then I guess a highlighter. That was one, um, yeah, after, when the after school, everything was 50%, I went, it was pretty much wiped out, but I got what I could. Uh, and then, of course, I have a, wa a washcloth and a soap. Um, oh, and then I want to sh share with you one thing. Um, my mother-in-law... Um, usually has given these to the past and um, I always try to put a cross on my shoe boxes um, and um, there's a church uh, up north that she gave me the address I sent let them know what I was needing and um, and the and I got I got a hundred crosses and uh, it was 40 bucks but it was to this really sweet church up north and um, they come from the Holy Land. They are blessed. They come from the Holy Land, and my mother-in-law helped me. She, she, uh, after she, after I told her I got them, she said, "Well, here, you know, she gave me twenty bucks for the crosses." So I just put that towards my shipping boxes because at each box you send, you have, um, um, they suggest that it's it costs ten dollars a box because it's you know because, um, and and what that shipping is is from where wherever the processing wherever this gear boxes end up to be sent to you know the shipping location whatever the shipping yard wherever you know if it's charleston you know whatever harbor you know um it just it just helps to and you know some people aren't able to provide ten dollars so um i always um i always try to do that so i've showed you a older girl so um what do we have in this one this is an older boy this one just has a backpack. I was able to get these backpacks for a couple dollars. We had these at Walmart. Um, did I get one or three dollars? And this has a toothbrush, uh, toothbrush and soap. But I have, I'm trying to find it. Oh, oh, that's a cute one. Um, yeah, I, I, um, I was trying to find the one that has a tape. So I also, oh, yeah. So this one, yeah, and I mean, I, I was just really blessed last year, I, and I'm able, this one is the middle, um, this is like the five to nine, ten shoes, um, oh, here's the other, okay, so here's another one, so this is the older girls, and, um, so one of the other things I wanted to let you know, um, and it's great that gives them something fun, you know, a yo-yo, a, a ball, um, something um, you know, like a pencil case or something, um, or like, you know, in a, in a doll, uh, and I have bucket hats in some of mine, um, but I try to give things so the kids can have, like, a little livelihood, um, the older ones, I give sewing kits, um, and I know it, it sounds crazy, but boys, I like to give a, a duct tape or some kind of, um, you're allowed to send like little 
tools like a little hammer uh, just everything has to be um, like you know the nails everything you can send things like that as long as it's sealed and it's not you know of course whatever you can fit in your box um, uh, and I'm just trying to think whatever I see it just so mainly you know I just you know put school supplies and um, so it's you know so like that was older I'm trying to I was trying to show the different ages. Uh, here's a big here's a little boy. So a little, this little, the little bun. I could because because I had this this size shoe. So I had a little boy's shoe. So um, and I had this little afufi. So I thought I would send that. And then so of course the two to four. I don't send pencils. I just send crowns. Um, and um, another thing that I've been very blessed with. Um, our Cracker Barrel has a really awesome manager. I've known him for about 10 years now. And Ricky, uh, when he uh, gave, gave me all the stuff a long time ago, uh, I'm down to one box now, but I think he gave me like two or three boxes of these. And these are just what they give to the kids. Um, you know, they give you the menu so the kids can call her. Um, and I think, um, uh, and, I'm, and I will be sending, Mary, if you're watching this, your uh, crowns and crosses are going to be on the way soon. I promise. I'm I'm sending my friend Mary and her sister Tony. They do Operation Christmas Child boxes also. And I said, hey, I've got I'm going to have a bunch left over. Would you like some crowns? Um, I think I'm probably going to send them some little stickers too. Uh, but um, I always try to put at least two or four um, of these. Um, and because last year, I do I did have a bunch of these. Um, but you know, then again, um, you know, if, you know, cra you know, crowns and supplies like that, they, they run out. Um, oh, this is one. So my friend Colleen, she gave me two brushes from this year. These are for kids. And, um, she gave me, um, the little kids ones. So I, um, so I didn't have a lot of younger ones, but, um, so I'll just, I will have two brushes for next year. Oh, so I. I don't know where I got this whistle from, but I have, I had this Thomas the Train whistle from, from something that I, something that I gave, so I had figured a whistle, you know, the younger ones, um, oh, this is what I was trying to explain, um, the, uh, one year when they had the, um, vacation Bible school, um, okay, I don't know if I'm able to put that, I'm not a, this was like a little propeller, you know, that the kids could play with. So I had, I had several of these. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I'm, I may be missing something, but this was something about, you know, airplanes or travel or something. Um, so anyway, so you kind of get the gist. Um, you just, um, you know, you don't have to buy it all at once, you know, but if you can, that's good, good for you. But me, I just, I look for, the, you know, bargains all year long. Um, I buy the, these shoe boxes, um, the rubber mates, um, all throughout the year. Um, but, um, Hobby Lobby does, does carry these. Now they're $4, but a good way to get a lot of them, um, for a little bit less, but you get more is through Operation Christmas Child, the website. I think for 18 or $20, you can get like 12 of them. Um, and I just, I like to get a couple. I just, because it's just, you know, this looks so much prettier than, you know, than the plain ones. But I always, and, and then again, and also, you can get for, they have cardboard ones that are, um, they come flat, and then you have to put them together. And I've had those lots, several times. Um, they would send them to me, and I could distribute distribute to the churches and anybody that would want them um but the main the main thing i like to give them plastic ones because you um you just you got, you got to understand that these kids are getting them they are in very 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 underprivileged countries and most and most likely they will be they will be keeping this for years they will be using it to get water from their you know, drinking place, their well, um, they will keep their treasure, their, you know, their belongings in it, and I just, I love giving a plastic container instead of a shoe box. You can, when you're, when you're paying for your shoe boxes, try to do the option, follow your box, because uh, they will um, send you an email, um, and it'll tell you, like, what country, 
that your shoebox. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry it was so long, but I just kind of wanted to give you a little synopsis of why I do it, how I do it, uh, pack, well, you know, pack the shoeboxes. Uh, Samaritan's Purse itself is an awesome organization. Um, Franklin Graham um, he, he has really carried on his father's uh, legacy. It's so amazing. Um, uh, I mean, they ha have other, like they, they have a Wounded Warrior, um, I believe it's part, you know, they do for, um, you know, fallen soldiers, you know, a military. They, they have been here in Myrtle Beach several times helping with our flood people that, you know, lost their homes. Um, I, for, I forgot what the disaster relief is, but, um, um, so, you know, if, if you can, uh, it would be really amazing, um, if you could pack a shoebox, you know, uh, in my honor, you know, just, um, it, it would mean so much. Um, and thank you so much for watching my video. Um, like I said, you know, put down the comments, you know, if you have any questions, you know, if you, you know, think this is a, you know, if, have you, have you packed a shoebox? And, um, with that, I just, I hope everyone has a blessed day.